Hello everyone, my name is Lightning Gamoroid, and today we got a very special video because it is a Minecraft minifigures full series unboxing. Yep, I just found series 24 today. Gigglebox found these the other day, but I found them just today. And his batch code was 09110BV, and I found the same batch code as well. His codes were B through N. I also got B through N. So we got 13 to collect here. Oh yeah, this is the Dungeon Battle series. I did showcase this in my last video. Well, not my previous video, but I did talk about this in a video. But one thing that is unfortunate is that we have five recycled minifigures. Also, the names of the figures are not on the box. I myself have never played Minecraft Dungeons, so I really cannot tell you about all these things. But I can tell you that the box design right here, it's basically supposed to be a chest that you get at the end of a level in Minecraft Dungeons. So you get this chest with cool rewards and the chase figure is an evil ender chest <clears throat> that's what I'm calling it the evil ender chest at the top right here can we barely see who we got we got a screaming enderman from series 4 a slime cube from series 3 an evoker from series 10 also a stray from series 10 and the last recycle minifigure Oh yeah, the Series 5 Chicken Jockey. So yeah, I watched Gigglebox's video. He got the full set. Hopefully, I'll be lucky enough. Okay, like always, I am going to start at N and go down to B. I always get the best of luck when I go backwards. Okay, so the first letter is N. Normally went from A through M, but actually starting last series, it basically mixed up. So it started at whatever letter. But in series 23, my codes actually went from A through M. When Gigglebox did his series 23 video, his went from E through Q. But it's very, very weird what we're doing. But yeah, the uh, batch code is no longer indented. You can see it right here. This is letter E. I want letter F. But since I'm going backwards, we are starting off with the recycled figures. I don't have the other ones with me to compare. Last one I check is what I'm looking for. Okay. <clears throat> So, batch code, 09110BV, letter indicating who's in the box, 24. Let's begin. Oh yeah, I saw Gigglebox's video, he did post the codes. At the end of his video, he also posted them onto Reddit. This is feeling like the Screaming Enderman. Ugh, if I can get this open. I really should not have to get scissors. You can just rip these open. Yep, Screaming Enderman. We've seen this one before. Also, one more thing. We haven't gotten any information regarding a Series 4 of the Mini Miners, but I kind of feel like this should be dungeon themed. Get, as in getting more exclusive Minecraft Dungeons minifigures. Okay. And this next. This is a chicken jockey.
Yep, we have seen this one before. This is the Series 5 Chicken Jockey. Letter L. I think this is either the Evoker or the Stray. Let's find out. It's definitely a Series 10 minifigure. I'll tell you that. Come on. Ah. Don't tell me how to actually get scissors. Oops. Ah. Okay, I thought I got a little... Why do they make these bags so strong now? There we go. <clears throat> Evoker. We have seen this one already. Okay. I can't tell you, like... Okay, this is a slime cube. Oof, this one's hard to get out. Yeah, this one was originally a three-pack exclusive in the series. Although, for this one, I feel like we could have gotten a pink slime. Seriously, wasted opportunities. Instead, they want to just reissue minifigures and put them in the next core series instead of, I don't know, doing like an ultimate collector set where they put one of each figure in one packaging. This should be the last of the recycled minifigures. You can do a process of elimination. And knowing all the recycled minifigures, this one should be the Skeleton Stray. This one flew out. Pretty sus. Alright, now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take a look at the new exclusive minifigures appearing in this series. Where is it? Right here? Better eye. Ooh. Yeah. You thought the uh, redstone golem was huge? Look at this one. This one is cool. I never knew it looked like that. Well, I'm actually seeing it from all angles now. This, this one smells good for some reason. This is called a Leap Leaf. This appears in the Jungle Awakens DLC for Minecraft Dungeons. We got another Jungle Awakens mob in this, which is coming up later. I opened up I, so J is going to be the next one. I already opened this. I just shut my computer screen. Cool. This is a Whisperer. Another enemy. Very cool. G. Ooh. Ooh. We got the Isologer. This was one of the contenders for the Caves and Cliffs update, but for some reason the Glow Squid one over this and the Moo Bloom. 
Yeah, this one's really cool. I was wondering if we were going to get a minifigure out of this. But we did, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, speaking of which, in the Caves and Cliffs series, I'm going to expect a recycled Series 19 Glow Squid, since they're apparently recycling minifigures now. Okay, I opened G, so F is next. Oh. We got the Explorer with dual crossbows. Very cool. I like this one. Yeah, these this he's a this one's one of the playable characters in the game. Last time we got four, this time we got three to collect. Which we'll get to when I open them. E, four left. Ooh. A pink glittery creeper. What's weird is that on the top here looks a dark watermelon green kind of color, but when you take it out, it's pink. This is an enchanted creeper. Mobs can appear enchanted in the game. And this is an enchanted creeper. Very cool. We got three more. D. I'm guessing this is going to be the... Winter Hunter with the Corrupted Beacon. Yep. This is the Winter Hunter with the Corrupted Beacon. Yeah, I was told that he's holding a Corrupted Beacon. Really cool icon. Now this one. According to the codes that Gigglebox got in his video, he posted, like I said before, he posted the codes at, his, at the end of his video, posted them onto Reddit. C should be the chase figure. Should I save this one for last? Nah. Let's not build up any suspense. Okay. Here it is, the chase figure. Don't know what this is called exactly, but I'm calling it an, an evil ender chest. Can you see inside? It's like slime on the inside of the book. So, what is this inside of it? I don't know. Well, I know this is a sword, but... Very cool. So C is the chase figure. Well, since the letters shift, basically the second one you see in sequence is the chase. I expected it to be in between the uh, unique figures and the recycled figures, like what they did last time with the Soulfire Skeleton. But, it sounds cool. Last one. All right, I can feel ahead. Ah, oh, it's Hex. Okay, please don't actually be Hex this time. It's not, I see a parrot. Yeah, let's not go through that. So this is Warjin. He's holding a staff and a parrot. 
pretty cool. All right, do I remember the order? No, I'll list the codes right here. So that's going to do it. We have completed series 24. I like this one. This one's cool. I also did find a case of Roblox Celebrity Series 8, but it was like half empty and some people decided to open some of the boxes when really all you got to do is find the manufacturing date look at the letter on the box and if you can or feel like it weigh the boxes and see how much they weigh in ounces if it's different if the weight value is different then it's a different figure that's basically all you gotta do you also have to know like what figures come out of each of the boxes and make sure you have a same manufacturing date. With Minecraft minifigures, the order stays the same, but where it starts varies depending on the batch code. But with Roblox figures, it mixes up. The order completely mixes up, so you don't know exactly who comes out of what box. Unless you get it from someone who has a complete list uh, figures that come in each letter with its matching manufacturing date. So that's going to be the end of this video. And when my outro begins, you're going to see two videos. One of them is my video, and the other one is going to be Gigglebox's video on Series 24. What should my video be? Well, one of my videos featured on the end card. So that's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.